Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a uh, Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and uh, Libra Rising weekly tarot reading June 17th to uh, June 23rd, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump straight away uh, into the spread. Right, so um, the first card which marks up the topic of your uh, week, Libra, that is going to be the uh, Ace of uh, Cups, followed by the second card which stands for the uh, challenges that uh, Taro shows that you will have to overcome here for throughout the week, that is going to be uh, the uh, Ten of Cups. Afterwards, uh, we do have the positive aspect of the week, that is going to be the Sun card. And then the last one is going to be the guidance that Taro is offering to you, and we have the Six of Cups. <laughs> so, uh, Libras or Libra. Uh, it seems of a, quite an extraordinary week that you're going to have, uh, but let's go through the cards once again, guys. Ace of Cups, it is the topic followed by the challenges here with the Ten of Cups. Afterwards, we do have the Sun card, which is the uh, positive aspect, like it can't get more positive than that. And uh, Six of Cups, it is the last one, which is the Guidance. So Libra, we we're talking about of a quite of a um, exhilarating week. Uh, now, if you want to say it, wish come true, it doesn't get any better than that, uh, than uh, these cards, because it seems that you are to experience quite of a, a deep contentment for throughout the week, you know, kind of like an impending change happening into uh, one of your situations, or maybe into your entire life, which are making a, uh, a concepts which were worrying you until this very moment, that you are quite... Um, reluctant to take, you know, or uh, problems that you have to deal with completely irrelevant because they know they no longer going to have any influence upon you or upon your environment. And this is exactly what the Ace of Cups here speaks uh, for. So uh, as the Ace of Cups, everybody know that it is about love and it is a, a about, you know, a, a an extraordinary emotions. Yeah, that is true, but the, this love doesn't necessarily have to be directed to a person, okay? It could be the love for life itself. It could be the love for this change that I'm talking about happening, impending change over circumstances. This isn't the grand scheme change like, you know, your life changes, but the circumstances into your environment changes, which are allowing you to be very happy, to experience extraordinary joy there. These circumstances could be that, for example, you are fighting with your husband and these circumstances happen and those fights are no longer um, Point, uh, um, meaningful, right? They, they, they just cannot be led any longer because there is no more reason for you to fight with your husband or with your wife. That is, you know, the card could mark as well a, a tremendous success into one of your projects, which, 
is uh, giving that deep a sense of content you know or contentment wish come true and from there everything moves on in a, a very positive uh, fashion the accompanied card of the ace that is going to be the the uh, high priestess here <clears throat> and the formation it is a uh, passive supporters so the high priestess here points the die is going to be a long lasting thing you know it's not something based on a, a pure luck you know or a pure coincidence but it is a, a thing you know either this new love of yours new job success into your project or this exhilarating experience that you are going to have it's just the foundation of you moving forward into the future and having that thing your marriage your you know your friendship of yours your empathizement of yours or etc etc being developed to um it's greater heights being developed to a point where you finally can say i wanted it to happen and it happened okay so a quite of an important week guys uh for you libra it is a week where you finally can give a or mark a, a start of a thing that you so much want something that you desired for a, a long time then we go to the challenges here and this is the Ten of Cups. So Ten of Cups tells us only one thing to realize how blessed you are. OK, do not take that thing for granted. Do not th take that impending change which transcends your reality into a, um, a extremely exhilarating daily routine as a, a thing for granted. Now, that thing needs to be nurtured. It needs to be secured. You know, it needs to be monitorized as well and it needs performance. So, like I said, do not take it for a granted. The accompanied card here that is to be the Ace of Pentacles formation. It is a, a passive friends that we have. So with the Eight of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups, uh, how can I describe it? It is kind of like a, a sense of, of um, how do you say it when you want to rush something? OK, so it will take some time to develop. You know, that's uh, this reason for you to feel content. Uh, you cannot jump straight away to a certain phase of it. It, it, it has a, uh, a plan how it needs to um, be unfolded and how it needs to be developed, like I said. And also is to realize uh, with these couple of cards here as a challenge is to realize that this is it. I mean, this is what you waited for. This is the opportunity you need to further your goal. This is the way how you're going to make that these uh, flawless, this flawless communication or flawless interactions into your relationship. Or this is it, how you're going to make your business successful. Then we go to the next card, guys, which is uh, the... Um, the positive aspect of your week and that will be the sun card so the sun card here points that um, <clears throat> you are going to have these expanding energies of growth you will want to expand on these new circumstances and that is the right way how you should proceed on forward with um, with this enterprise or with the future in general. Additionally to that, the Sun card promises monetary success. It promises, uh, you know, uh, how do you say it when one relationship is deprived from points of conflict and pro points of, uh, of wrangles and arguments as well. It's like a harmonious flow. So it's a, um, <clears throat> a confirmation here of uh, the uh, of the previous cards but as well the sun card points that everything is going to return to its natural state meaning that you know as one as it's natural for one person to expand and to grow you know and to become better in everything that they do this is what you're going to get here so if you deserve that promotion at work that promotion is going to be given to you or these are the circumstances you need to step on and to, uh, how can I, to claim uh, that promotion, or these are the circumstances you need to step on and to claim that person to be your uh, boyfriend or a girlfriend, or you name it. The accompanied card here, that is going to be the Eight of Wands formation. It is a uh, active uh, supporters that we have. So with the active supporters here, uh, with, and the Eight of Wands, 
um, how can I describe it? It, it? it does point that you are to adopt a little bit more unorthodox way of how you are to tackle with these new circumstances, which is going to surprise a lot of people, is going to surprise pleasantly, I mean, your boss is going to surprise that person, for example, which kind of like have been reluctant to have something to do with you, all right? They kind of like being kind of like... Um, 50-50, they haven't made up their mind are they want to be with you or no. But now as you are uh, approaching the situation more in a more unorthodox way, in a more creative way, they're actually saying, wow, well, they amazed me. I mean, I'm quite pleasantly surprised. So I'm going to give it a, a go. Yeah, so do not be stubborn. Um, yeah, it's, is it stubborn? It's kind of like... Um, when you stick to one particular thing uh, or one particular particular way of um, approaching a situation, as you know from the past, you know, and not allowing yourself to uh, try different things. Uh, it's well because in my in my language, it's it's a different word from the uh, literal translation of the word stubborn. Anyway, so I hope that you get what I mean. And uh, the last card that we have for you, Libra, this is going to be the Six of Cups. So that is the guidance. And uh, the guidance says, enjoy every single moment of it, right? It's just try to experience the fullness of, this, uh, of these circumstances which are transcending your daily reality. Stop thinking about what could ruin it and what could not ruin it. Like I said, everything is going to start unfolding naturally from now on. So there is no reason for you to worry about something that can or that may, excuse me, or may not happen. And look, judging by these cards, it is very, very unlikely that is going to happen. Just for example, so you associate yourself with this really cute and handsome woman, all right? And finally, she kind of like says, yes, okay, let's, let's try being in a relationship. And you stop worrying that she may cheat on you or you are not good enough for her. And that's why probably she's going to take, she's going to start associating herself with someone else. These kind of like, you know, these... Um, sabotaging thoughts that everybody have when they when they are in those circumstances allowing them to be happy uh, from now on moving forward into the future the accompanied card here that is going to be the four of cups and uh, actually this is quite huge here the formation it is a uh, passive uh, supporters that we have and uh, if you think that you have achieved the peak of your experience. This is the maximum, this is everything you want it. Uh, you have to guess again, because from now on, the growth is to happen, all right? From now on, you are yet to grow. No different than, for example, beforehand, before this week, you really wanted to work, I don't know, as a correspondent of a certain television or uh, to work as a, a manager of a certain company. And finally, you, you have the circumstances to, to, to become that, okay? And you think, this is everything I want, I don't want anything more, right? Or I ain't gonna stray for anything more. Well, once you become that what you want, you will see that you are yet to grow. And now if I have to get back to the uh, Ten of Cups, in this uh, follow-up, the Ten of Cups also refers to this uh, part of the human nature where no matter how much, how, how um, big we are or rather like uh, how much growth we have achieved and how happy we are, we always need to stray for more because this is in our nature. We need to become better. We need to become more uh, happier. We need to grow more. So that being said, Libra, this was your weekly tarot reading for June 13th, to, uh, June 17th, excuse me, to June 23rd, 2019. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.